Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Sessions by Smart Interviews. Today we are going to solve a problem, next greater node in Linklist from Leetco. Before we start solving this problem, I recommend you to pause the video here and come up with your own approaches to the problem. Let's start. We are given a link list. Now in this link list, for each and every node, we'll have to find out what is the next greater node on the right side, which has a value greater than the current node. So we'll have to return an array, let's say answer with the values for each node, which is greater than the, which is greater on the right side. For example, let's take seven. On the right of seven, 11 is the greater node, which appears first. So 11 will be the answer for seven. Next, if we take one, we'll have six. If you take 6, 11 is a greater node which is found immediately after 6, 5, 11 and for 11, 15, 9, 15 again but for 15 we could not find any greater node on its right side. So, in this case, we'll put 0. Also for 12, there are no nodes on the right side. So, answer would be 0 for 12 as well. So, this is what the question is. How do we solve this? We can simply do what you have seen just now. That is, we'll fix one node. Let's say we we'll start with 7. Then, let's name it current. Now, we'll start iterating from the next node of the cell. Let's name it node. Now, we'll compare the current node and the node we are taking. 7 is greater than 1. So, we'll move this forward. Move forward again. Move forward again. 11 is greater than 7. So, we'll put 11 as the answer for 7. After 7 is done, we'll move our current point of forward to 1. Then we'll again start with the node after 1. We'll again compare and then we'll put as the put the node which is a greater value as the answer for the current node. Now, until when do we move our pointer? Until we find a greater element on the right side. But if you take case of 15, we did not find any greater element on the right side. So what do we do here? We'll move until we find a greater node on the right side or until the end. So that's it. This is the approach. What we are going to do? We'll fix each and every node. Then we'll start taking one more pointer and we'll move from the next node of the node we fixed by comparing the node and the next nodes. Okay. Let's move forward and code it up. Before we code this up, I recommend you to pause the video here and implement the logic on your own. Okay, let's go ahead. We are given that we should return a vector of values. So I'm declaring vector of type integer. I'll name it answer. Then I'll take a pointer current will be starting with head. So I'll initialize it with head. We'll have to 
fix each and every node in the list. So while current not equal to null, this ensures that we will be traveling until current is not equal to null. That is until current has not reached the end. Then for every node, we will have to start comparing the nodes after the current node. So let's take one more point. Let's say node initialize it to current next. Then again, we'll have to move this until it has not reached the end. And the value of node is less than or equal to current of node. So we'll move forward by using current is equal to current next. Now we'll have to know why we have stopped. Either we reach the end or we found the next greater node. So I'll put a condition if current okay, small change here. We'll have to move node forward. Now if node is not equal to none. will push back the value of node. Otherwise, we simply push back zero. After this, since we have found the answer for the current node, we'll move the current node forward. So current is equal to current next. And then we'll return the answer. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. That's it, submitted. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.